What is up everybody? Trav and I are back in the garage working on Speedy. It's time to get the back as low as the front. See, we've got the front down on the thing. The rear still has to come down, which we are gonna accomplish part of that by these adjustable spring plates. But I think what we're gonna do as well is re-clock the torsion bars. Now the driver's side is three quarters of an inch higher than the passenger side. So we may have to re-clock the torsion bars differently on each side. And we'll go through that when we uh, get everything apart. So those new adjustable spring plates go here, take place of that trailing arm. So we've got to pull off the cap and those three bolts right there and then we'll get to the torsion bar and see how much we're going to actually adjust it now the torsion bars on these cars have different number of splines from the inside and the outside so a lot of times if you just adjust one spline on the outside you'll get a certain height or if you adjust a spline on the inside you'll get a different height now you can kind of combine those to actually get some adjustability, which is what we might do on the other side to be able to um, take up that three quarters of an inch different measurement that we're getting. But to get close to, I think Trav wants to get down about three inches. Um, I think we looked up and we were actually going to go up three splines on the inside and down two splines on the outside. So we'll have to double check that, but he had had a pretty cool chart he saw on Samba or somewhere that was actually giving you, you know, the, the number of teeth and, and the measurements. So we'll, uh, we'll be referring to that and I'll probably drop it in the link below. So close. There you go. All right. So we got the torsion bar out and the arm. So it took a second for us to get that out. But you can see, if I can find the camera hole. <laughs> All right, you can see the how, how the spacing is on the splines on that side. This is the outer. Versus which, yeah, it's greased up, but you can see the splines are much closer together on that inner. This was a lot of messing around honestly so we ended up going four splines down on the outer torsion bar and five up on the inner torsion bar which should give us about two and a half inch drop that's without us using the adjuster at all that's on the new arms now to actually get these new arms on was not super fun, but it was easier to 
get our adjustments where we needed to be, make a new scribe line, and then make sure the inner torsion bar was hammered back in and wasn't gonna move. So we could actually pull everything apart and um, put the new bushings in and then put everything back together. Now, to get past the, the flange, the arm on the axle there, it was actually easier to put the one section in first and get it behind where it needed to be and then put the other section on and make sure that we were at our scribe line where we wanted to be for the height adjustment. So didn't record a lot of that because it was a lot of us banging stuff around and getting frustrated and trying to figure it out. Um, wasn't super easy, but right now we've got everything ready to go back together. Um, one thing, if you're lowering a thing, the bolt flanges are in a different position on these arms too, at least this third hole. So we're gonna have to bolt in these two and then drill an extra hole on that plate to get everything lined up, um, which is something that the kit says you would have to do. So if you've got a thing, know that you're gonna have to do some shenanigans to actually make that, make that work and drill that hole out and get everything bolted in. So we're gonna get these four bolts, which are kind of tough with brand new urethane bushings. We're gonna have to get a couple longer bolts to get it started and snug down to get the shorter factory bolts actually back into it. We'll get that bolted up, get those two bolted up, drill that out, and then it's on to the next side. Well, if I would have known we had to drill, I probably would have tried to do that before, but I think actually that was the way to do it. Yep. So, because we did have to drill, can't tell if you can see me in the camera, because we did have to drill that other hole for the thing, what we did, if you notice, these holes are all slotted so you can center the rear axle when you're doing alignment. So what we would went ahead and did on this side is we had them pushed all the way forward, bolted down the two bolts that did line up. We drilled our hole where we needed to drill it. Then we pulled it all the way back, drilled again, and we're able to get that same pattern slot on the new hole. So we're getting finished up with this side. Hopefully, uh, the other side goes a little bit easier now that we have a little bit better idea on what we're doing. Speedy is on the ground and we pushed her out of the garage right now because it's not fully back together just to get a look at where we're sitting. Now, weirdly, the front is lower than the back, but the back kind of looks like it is lower than the front. Um, and I don't know how much adjustability we're going to get out of each corner when we really start trying to dial it in. Um, you can see the, f the rear wheel is a little bit forward in the wheel well, so I think we need to um, uh, utilize those slots and get that straightened out a little bit because I can see the tire also is cocked in a little. I think the same on the other side. We kind of started at an all the way forward position just to see where we were and uh, we're gonna have to obviously do a little bit with that you know there's a couple things we're gonna have to play around with and see what we've got we do actually have some suspension up front not too bad but right now in the rear we got nothing so I'm not sure, uh, you know, how much adjustment we have on those on those adjusters on the lower arms. It could be us pulling back, pulling the stuff back apart, and readjusting where we were. Um, but that might be for another day. As of right now, Speedy's looking good. It's low. We just got to get it dialed in, and I think Speedy's looking pretty awesome. That's going to be it for this Mileage Unknown.